Let's assume you have to buy some natural equipment. Is it supposed to be always new and purchased directly from the manufacturer? Not necessarily. Do we lose on the gear quality by choosing aftermarket options, so basically going the popular refurbished way? In general, no, but it obviously depends on the quality of work that the reseller has performed during the refurbishment process. I invite you to watch this review of a popular Cisco switch from the Catalyst 2960S line of products. In this material I will cover the 24 port model with PoE+. Thumbs up for the Alitera Networks, the company that supplied me with the review unit. Thanks to them I had the chance to prepare this material. Before we move on with taking a glance over the switch itself and its parameters, let's begin with packaging. The equipment has been delivered to me by DHL courier service within 24 hours from dispatching the parcel. It's of course a plus for the courier service, but it's also nice that Alitor chooses reliable partners, at least from my experience. The box has been delivered to me without any external damages to the packaging. It's definitely solid and rigid. It also contains all the most important information on the outer side of the box, including description of its contents. In this case we're talking about Cisco Switch exact model WS2960S24PSL version 4. Time to take a glance into the box. We open it, take out the paper filling and there it is, the switch itself in all its glory. First thing that stands out right away is how the switch is secured. We're having here the recently popular solution. You simply insert the electronics into the plastic sleeve and then fold the cardboard in a way that makes the sleeve hold the equipment in one place. All together with the switch we're getting also the standard power cable, rack mount brackets and what looks like a small gift from Alitor, a notepad. Let's now have a look onto the switch itself. Catalyst 2960S is a typical access layer switch. When it comes to the dimensions, we're having here the standard 1U. The device has 4.5 cm of height and 44.5 cm of width. The switch is only 38.6 cm deep, which will easily fit even into the shallower types of rug enclosures. Weight fairly low at 5.7 kg. Now, starting from the left side of the front panel, we're having a set of LEDs responsible for showing the status of particular device functionalities. We can use them to check. What's the device status? Is there any redundant power supply connected? If this particular unit is a master in the stack, what's the status of each switch port as well as its duplex and bandwidth settings? If the stack connections are functioning properly, and what's the power over Ethernet status on each port? You can switch between mentioned modes with, you guessed it, the mode button. Just keep in mind not to hold it longer than 10 seconds, unless you're willing to erase the entire device's configuration. Further on the front we've got for our disposition 24 gigabit Ethernet ports. All of them support PoE+, so 802.380 standard, which means that they can provide for up to 30 watts of energy per port. Just keep in mind that the entire power budget of the switch caps at 370 watts. You can power up to 12 devices that draw whole available 30 watts or up to 24 devices being powered on with an original IEEE 802.3AF standard that provides as much as 15.4 watts of power per port. On the right side of the switch we get 4 SFP ports with maximum throughput of 1 gigabit per second. Furthermore, above them we can find a USB port that will let you conveniently transfer larger files using pen drive. We also can find here a standard console port in traditional RJ45 form factor as well as the fresher mini USB version. Finally, in upper right corner sits fast Ethernet port dedicated for switch management. Sides of the switch are pretty standard with screw holes for attaching rack mount brackets. Now let's get to the back of the device. We can find your dedicated slot for flex stack module that will let you, well, stack up to four 2960S switches into a single, at least from a logical standpoint, unit. Further, we get an airflow crate for the ventilation as well as RPS port for connecting redundant power supply. It's actually quite a decent compensation for the lack of modular power supplies. As you can see on the right side, we have only a single integrated and not swappable power outlet. That fact and also lack of hot swappable fans make two of the weaker parts of the whole setup. Before we jump right into looking at the other features and parameters of the reviewed unit, let's just take a quick glance into the chassis. The thing is that when you purchase any refurbished product, it's actually equally important that both the exterior and interior have been taken care of. 
Alitor Networks nails this particular aspect down as the company not only puts a fresh paint onto the device in some cases, but also cleans up the dust inside the chassis. And as we are already looking into the interior, well, it's pretty standard. We've got power supply, single fan, CPU's radiator and connection between the motherboard and the physical ports themselves. Time to take a look at the remaining features of the switch and we're going to do that using good old console connection and CLI. The way we begin is pretty non-standard as I'm using Mac to connect to the switch. We can utilize ls slash dev command to list all the devices that the OS has detected. Let's add star USB star to display only the devices connected via USB. At this very moment there's nothing connected to the USB port, therefore I plug the console cable in, reapply the command and there it is. We can see two records being displayed. The one we're looking for is the one with TTY text, so we copy it and then run the screen command paste the copied text and after space we type in the baud rate that in case of Cisco gear has to be 9600. We're finally locked into the switch so let's get into privileged mode. First let's take a look at the show version output. We're ensuring what type of device we're dealing with as well as which version of iOS it runs. In this particular case we've got version 12.255 SE8. Feature set in case of the switch is LAN base, which drives some of the remaining parameters of the reviewed unit. One thing, for example, is the backplane of the device, as much as 88 gigabits per second, and the other is the maximum number of active VLANs, which we can get up to 255. We can actually check this by running show SDM prefer command, and here we can see that indeed the switch supports up to 255 active VLANs. The reviewed unit is equipped with 64 MB of flash memory and 128 MB of DRAM memory which is actually a standard for the whole 2960S series. When it comes to the functionality of the switch, it's a typical layer 2 device, so do not expect any routing features here. However, we still get pretty decent features like 802.1x in monitor mode, radius change of authorization, dynamic ARP inspection, IP source guard, port security, as well as QoS 802.1p with support of shaped round robin scheduling and weighted tail drop congestion avoidance. Let's conclude this review with checking the PoE. As you can see we indeed have 370 watts of power budget to power the attached hosts. Let's test some randomly chosen port by plugging the access point to port 11. It performs as expected, draws something about 15.4 watts of power, so we're dealing here with the class 4 of PoE. In this review I won't be testing all of the ports, not only due to the time constraints, but also because they all have been already checked by Alitor networks. Altogether with the switch I also received test logs where I can check that the switch has been tested for software integrity on the ROM on mode level. Alitor has also verified operation of all the switch ports, stack ports, redundant powering or for example even the noise level of the fan. We can be therefore pretty sure that what we got is a quality product properly prepared for the live environment. At the very end of this review I'd like to say thank you to Alitor Networks for providing the test unit. Alitor is a company originating from the Netherlands and specializing in reselling refurbished network equipment, therefore contributing in lowering electronic waste production and helping in keeping the environment clean. By deciding to cooperate with Alitor you can definitely count on fast and individual pricing, unlimited warranty with an option of exchanging the faulty device with a new one, high quality of the refurbishment process with less than 1% of returns and also fast delivery to more than 100 countries, which I expect experience myself. For more information go to aliternetworks.com. Thank you for your time and see you in the next one.